Hi, everybody. Let's do IXL 7th grade M3 unit prices. This is a relatively easy exercise. A three pack of felt tip pens costs a dollar and two cents. What is the unit price? That means what's the price of just one pen? So if I go to the store, if I get a pack of three pens, that would cost a dollar and two cents. What if I just wanted to buy one pen? Then how much would I need to spend? Well, to answer that, we're just going to divide the price by the number of pens um, that were bought, and that'll give us the price per pen. Okay, so we want to find the price per pen. The price was a dollar and two cents for three pens. We're going to divide that by how many pens that bought us, which is three. So we do a dollar and two cents divided by three. You can just open up a, sim a simple calculator here and then divide by three. Each pen is 34 cents, okay? Which we're gonna have to write as 0 0.34, okay? Because 34 cents means 0 0.34 dollars. Okay, that is the way the calculator said it anyway, so. A nine kilogram bag of flour costs $25.20. What is the unit price? Okay, so I want to find the price per bag. I know that I need to spend $25.20 to buy nine bags. To find out how much I would need to spend for just one bag, we would divide 25.20 by nine. And get 2.8. Now I do believe they want you to write this in um, a money amount. So you wouldn't go to a store and see this uh, as a on a price tag, right? You would. So money amounts are always written to the hundredths place. So we would write this as 280 like that, two dollars and eighty cents. Okay, so just one bag costs two dollars and eighty cents. Okay, so these are. They're pretty much the same over here. So for this one, I would just do a six pack of ice cream sandwiches costs five dollars and thirty four cents. What's the unit price? We would just do five dollars and thirty four cents divided by six. And that tells us the price of just one ice cream sandwich instead of all six. OK, so one ice cream sandwich would be eighty nine cents. All right, let's move on to the next level here. This is giving me the same kind of problem. Some of these problems are different, I believe. Uh, let's see. Let's see if it gives me a different kind of problem. Okay, here. Which is the better buy? A two pack of felt tip pens for 59 cents or a four pack of felt tip pens for a dollar sixteen? Okay, now. So a dollar sixteen is more than fifty nine cents, right? So if I were to just glance at this and not really read the problem, I might think, well, I would a dollar sixteen. That's more. I don't want to pay more. I want to pay the lowest price possible. So it would seem like this is a better buy. I I only have to pay fifty nine cents instead of a dollar sixteen, but. If I choose the lower price, then I would only get two pens. Meanwhile, if I choose the higher price, yeah, I'm spending more, but I would get I would also get more. I would get four pens. So I can't just look at the price to figure out which is a better buy. So better buy really means the better price per pen. So how so I know that this is for two pens, this is for four pens, but which of these packs gives me the better price per pen? Okay, the better price for each pen that I'm buying. Well, if I go with this pack, then that's 59 cents for two pens. Each pen is 29 and a half cents, okay? 
Um, for this one, it's a dollar sixteen for four pens. Each pen is let's see. Each pen is twenty nine cents. So that's a little bit cheaper. Okay, it's half a cent cheaper than the other one. So if I buy a four pack, then I'm only spending twenty nine cents on each pen in that pack. If I were to buy the two pack, I would be spending twenty nine and a half cents on each pen. So it's not much of a difference, but it's just a little bit of a difference. So this is the better buy. An eight pack of okay. What's the unit? What's the unit price rounded to the nearest cent? Okay, so this is a little bit different because it's asking me to round to the nearest cent. So an eight pack of ice cream sandwiches costs five dollars and nineteen cents. What is the unit price? What is the price of each ice cream sandwich? Okay, what if I just wanted to buy one and they let me just do that instead of buying the whole pack? So I would do five dollars and nineteen cents divided by eight which is 0 0.64875. So we want to round this to the nearest cent. So if you were watching this video closely, you remember I said earlier that we usually write dollar amounts up to the hundredths place, right? And that's where, that's the, let's call that the cents place, okay? So we want to round to this place over here, which is, two places after the decimal point. Here's the decimal point. We want to round to two places after the decimal point. So remember how to round. This is our rounding digit. This is the digit we want to round to, okay? The next digit over is what I call the decision digit. This is the digit that we would look at to decide if this one should stay the same or if it should go up. If the decision digit is a zero, one, two, three, or four, then what I call the rounding digit would stay the same. If the decision digit is a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, then the rounding digit would go up by one. So this was an eight. So this is going to go up by one. So the four will become a five. So rounded to the nearest cent, this would be 65 cents. So let's put that as our answer. Which is the better buy? Okay, so if I spend $6, I would only get six DVDs. If I spend $7.48, I would get seven DVDs. If I wanna know what the better buy is, then really I want to know for which pack do I have to, am I spending less for each DVD that I'm buying? So if I were to get the six pack, then each DVD would cost, well, six, six divided by six, that's one, right? So each DVD in the six pack is $1 and then six DVDs would be $6. For the seven pack, you know, we don't even need a calculator for this because if this had said, if this had said just $7 exactly, then we know that seven divided by seven is one. So then each, each DVD here would also be just $1. Um, but this said 748, which is a little bit more than seven. So that means that each of these DVDs costs a little bit more than a dollar. So for this one, it was exactly one dollar. For this one, it's a little bit more than a dollar. So this is the better buy. For this pack, each DVD costs less. Okay, and if you just wanna do, um, anyway, what's seven dollars and 48 cents divided by seven, you see it's a little bit more than a dollar. Whereas for this one, six divided by six is obviously exactly one dollar. Okay, so this is the better buy. We're spending less per DVD. Okay, again, which is the better buy? Um, so this six cents divided by three would be two cents, right? So each marble costs two cents here. Um, this one is going to be a little bit more than two cents, right? 
If this had said 18 cents, then I know 18 divided by nine is exactly two. But this said 25 cents, so it's gonna be a little bit more than two cents and a little bit less than three cents because I know if this had said 27 cents, then 27 divided by nine would be exactly three. Okay, so this is gonna be somewhere between two and three cents, which is still more than this one, which is exactly two cents. So some of these you could do mental math, but if you're not sure, then you can use the calculator for this. So 0 0.06 divided by three is 0 0.02. So each marble here costs two cents. 0 0.25 divided by nine is, you can see a little bit more than two. Okay, so this is the better buy. We're spending less for each marble. We're spending less per marble if we buy a three pack than if we buy the nine pack, which honestly is a little bit odd. Usually when you're buying something in bulk, the more you buy, the less the price is for each item in that pack, but uh, I guess not here. Okay. Um, Okay, another problem rounded to the nearest cent. Let's just go ahead and do another rounding problem. So it's 97 cents for a two yard roll of brown paper. If I wanna know the unit price, I would do 97 cents divided by two. Now I want to round to the nearest cent. So remember, I'm gonna look two places after the decimal point, which would be right over here. The next digit over is my decision digit. If this is a zero, one, two, three, or four, then this stays the same. If this is a five, six, seven, eight, or nine, then this gets bumped up one. So this will get bumped up one since this is a five. This is gonna get bumped up to a nine. So that would be 0 0.49. Let's, yeah, another better buy. Let's skip to the next level, see if we get something different here. Again, a better buy problem. So we've done that before. So I'm going to end the video there and have a great day.